What's going on you guys? I hope everyone's doing well. I got a lot of comments about the Mustang on the last couple of videos, specifically about the exhaust setup. So I thought we'd take it out today and I'll talk about it. So let's start it up. So I haven't taken the car out in the last couple of days, so we'll have a genuine cold start. I removed the choke uh, a couple months ago because I was having a lot of issues with it like starting up and stuff. So it's a little rough at first, but after it warms up, it, it gets a lot better. So don't send me a bunch of hate comments if it sounds weird at first. We'll, we'll get it warmed up. <laughs> so I've had this keychain for a while now, but I don't think I've shown you guys. My grandpa gave it to me a while back, but it's pretty cool. I think it suits the car pretty well. I'm definitely going to have to give this car a lot of gas before I start it. You know what? Let me set the camera outside. I don't know how I was going to get a cold start inside the car. Well, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> so the idle usually stays a little low when you first start up the Car. And then once it gets warmed up, it usually hangs out around like 800 RPM. All right, let's get out of here. Well, it's definitely hard to drive stick with the camera, that's for sure. So I'm not really into putting stickers on my car, but I decided to put the, my little four-speed sticker on the glove box. I think it looks pretty cool, but let me know what you think. So I guess it's also important to tell you guys more about the motor that this car has. Um, the previous owner built it. It's nothing too crazy, but it's a 289. Um, it's cammed, it has an intake, a four barrel carb. Um, uh oh, this is actually probably too hot to touch, but it's backwards. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, it's bored out, has bigger pistons, MSD. But yeah, it's, it's mildly built, but it's, it's pretty fast for what it is. It's nothing crazy. If I dynoed it, it'd probably be really embarrassing to find out the <laughs> true horsepower, but it, it's fun with uh, 380 gears and a posi. It goes around town nicely. <laughs> So I honestly haven't really done much to the car. The previous owner put on the whole exhaust system. So the only thing I changed was I put the Black Widow Venom 250s and those sound really cool. I'll get into that in a little bit. So in the front, I'm running uh, like Summit Racing long tube headers with like a ceramic coat. Um, I think they're pretty generic. And then an X pipe. Now that's the thing that my car is a little bit different. Uh, a lot of Mustangs, they run H pipes. I like the way it sounds and I feel like that's one of the things that differentiates this car from other Mustangs the X-Pipe and the Venom 250s. So the whole exhaust system's two and a half inches. Before I had some like generic uh, Summit Racing mufflers on it that the previous owner put on and they just kind of sounded boring and then I decided to change it up like two years ago. So I put the Black Widow exhaust on it and I like how they sound. They're, they're pretty mellow at like, you know, low RPMs, but once you get on it, <laughs> it gets really loud. So I, I, I feel like out of the whole lineup of Black Widow, they're kind of like the quieter ones, so you can get pretty crazy with that company. And then my car used to drone a lot, like really bad, and it was really annoying. It was like all at the lower RPMs, so like when you're in fourth gear, like cruising, it was really annoying. So what I did was I put the exhaust over the rear axle and have it dump out right by the rear valance, and that helped out. Now I'm really happy with my exhaust, so let's go check it out. So let me start the car up once again. Well, I guess I should go rev up the car. Hopefully I won't piss off my neighbors. <laughs> So now that we pissed off my neighbors, let's go get the GoPro. It's got a POV set up and I'll mic up the exhaust and we'll go around town and 
So right now we're in a little industrial area of town to test out the exhaust. So before we get started, I wanted to show you guys how we're actually gonna do this. So I have a lav mic gaffed up to right here. And since my car is pretty boxy, it should block out the winds. And then I put a little bit of tape to protect it right here. And then that goes to an external recorder. And then I'm gonna be doing the POV with a new GoPro that I picked up. And it's attached to the hat, so that should be pretty cool. And then I'm gonna have to sync up the audio from the recorder to the GoPro. So let's go do it. So it's really not that bad in fourth gear, but as you can see, once you drop it down a couple of gears and get on it, 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 it gets pretty loud. So that's what I like about it. We'll, we'll get on it in a couple seconds. This is where all the homeless live now. It's crazy. This is LA for you. All right, we'll go around here, go by the homeless encampment of LA. It's all homeless people right here. So we'll go down this street in a second. Drop it down another gear. This is crazy. Let's get a little, little head start. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun to make. I'm hoping the audio came out okay. It's hard to judge because this car is pretty loud. It could be totally blown out, so I'll have to see. But I guess stay tuned for the next video, guys.